Hello guys, it's Donza here. Um, it was a long time ago, uh, I'll admit. But it's it's good to be back. Um, I I miss you guys, of course. Um, but the, the reason why I was gone was my program that I used to record my my like tutorials and stuff. It fucked up completely, and I didn't know like how to fix it, or I didn't think of a like easy way to do it. Um, I think I managed to find an easy way now to actually do it because I'm stupid and things like that. So yeah, I hopefully gonna do more stuff now. But yeah, anyways, uh, today we're gonna take a look at something I did just one night when I was bored, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, and that's the intro to the device made by Silva Hound. Uh, I thought that sound was pretty interesting and pretty simple and sounded pretty good. So I tried to remake that as good as I could and yeah, it's not exactly a copy. I didn't actually know what he used on stuff, but still, we're gonna do this. So hang on tight. Let's listen to this in 3, 2, 1. Okay, that was the whole thing. Um, so I'm gonna go through this synth by synth and step by step, pretty much, um, just to get a overview of everything. So first thing we have the bass sound. That was not the bass sound. Let's try again. There we go. So this this sound is actually pretty straight, straightforward and pretty simple. It's built by three oscillators, one saw wave, one sine wave, and one white noise thing. The white noise thing is not like it's just a bit of volume on that. Just just a bit to get that high that high thing. And um, to get the vibration going, pretty much. Or like not the vibration, like the um the whole sound in itself. I don't know. <laughs> I just did it because it sounded ish right and it's it didn't sound bad so I kept it. But anyway, the first oscillator is the um the saw wave, nice fat and vibrating stuff, uh, up to eight voices, and the re-trigger must be on on this, because the re-trigger we can listen to it. You can hear the difference, right? So yeah, that's that's why we want that, and yeah. M one minus in octave on both oscillators because this is a bass sound and it's easier to make things when things are not as high up when you're doing a bass. <laughs> so and the six voices on the sine wave and all the volume up on that one. The reason why you don't want the volume to be up all the way on this one is because we can listen to that and see. I I thought like the uh, the bassiness of the sine wave should be like more up front because it's a bass sound and you should hear the bass, but it got that vibrating thing in the background. It it's just a thing. I thought it sounded pretty good. And uh, then we got a little bit of distortion, not much at all, at fallback type. It's doing. Yeah, it's crazy that uh, that closeness even more and yeah. You can mess around with it, but I thought this sounded good. And then the reverb, it doesn't do much because the 
all things are like turned down and, and it's pretty dry so yeah we can check a bit on the mixing like you got the lows pretty pretty much higher than the rest because this is the frequencies I found was the most interfered most with the lead so that's why I put them down a bit um, yeah nothing too serious about the mixing and the Maximus. The Maximus creates that fatness and that closeness so, so that's pretty good for that so I boosted the lows a bit and the highs a little bit as well and the uh, mids I didn't do as much with with the mids uh, so I just left it I think I I actually lowered it a bit. Yeah, I think so. So that was the bass sound. Moving over to the lead. Okay, so there's several things going on here. As you can see, there's two automation things. But we will go over the sound and I'll explain those things after it. Okay. So, um,. We use for this sound one oscillator, it's saw wave, eight voices, retrigger, one octave up, no detune, no fancy stuff, just straight up a eight voices saw wave oscillator. Um, a little bit of reverb, but it, it it doesn't really sound. It doesn't you can you can't hear the. No, it's it's not even. <laughs> I messed around a bit with that, so that's why it's left on. But yeah. Uh, but the interesting thing with this sound is the LFO I did. That is to make the sound vibrate more. Like you can almost hear it. Like it like vibrates on the on the. Um, on the top it vibrates between the pitch that's because I put the twi pitch a bit up and the gain is pretty low here we're going to explain the automations because the first automation is this one and this is the automation I did for the gain of the LFO so when this goes up the gain of the LFO goes up, so you can hear it more clearly what's going on. No, that was the wrong sound, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you can hear it vibrates more and more, you can hear it more clearly that it vibrates. Like that. You can see this little thing move as well. Um, the other Automation is just the this thing here, the pitch ray, the pitch bend thing. Um, I just keep kept it at three because I didn't need more than that for this kind of melody. This has more to do with the melody than anything else because on the on the long note, on the long note where you see this goes down, um, it's actually pitching to another note and the reason I did that was because I wanted to slide to the note rather than just switch the note up or something like that because it sounds more like the original and it sounds cooler so this is just the pitch bend range it's like three steps so this is the middle this is the th it's three steps up from here and three steps down so yeah just listen to where you want to place the pitch and just do it. So together they sound like this. So you can hear when this goes down it starts to vibrate more on that note. So that's that's what I want to do. Uh, so now to the mixing, nothing special in the mixing, just the low the lows down and nothing else really on the on the EQ 
Here on the Maximus though, I got the mids and the highs boosted a bit and the lows did nothing with them. So, and that's also because you want to sound fatter and closer so it doesn't get distant because that's what's in the track. Uh, these sounds you can just play around with and create your own kind of sound with but I think they were like really simple and really easy to use and expand on. So yeah, that's that's basically it. If you have any questions, just just ask them in the video. Um, hit the like button if you liked the video, and I shall see you next time. Have a great day.